Hello, my name is Dave Womack and I run the website mybirdtips.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about blue and gold macaws that bite and how to keep them from biting. I have with me Jinx, who is a blue-throated macaw but has a similar disposition and temperament of a blue and gold macaw. So since I don't have a blue and gold macaw with me here today, I'll use him for some of the examples. One of the things that happens with a lot of macaws, as they get older, they learn that biting means you'll leave them alone. And example of how that might happen, you might go in to try to pick him up one day and you could see he, he started to kind of give me a little warning bite there. And if I continue to always pull away, he would know that every time he bites me, I'll leave him alone. And that's typically what happens to a lot of bird owners. So right now I'll show you a way to be able to communicate with your blue and gold macaw that may be biting and get him to understand what you really want. For this, you're going to need a couple of tools. You're going to first need some sunflower seeds. You're going to need a training clicker, which can be purchased from any pet shop. And you will also need a brand new chopstick that hasn't been used before. It's very important that you don't have saliva on the chopstick or anything like that. That could be bad for the bird. Just go get a brand new chopstick, order some Chinese food tonight or whatever you want to do. The very first step is you click and you give the bird a treat. Notice the treats are very small. It takes them, oh, five, maybe ten seconds, if it's going slowly, to be able to actually eat that treat. And what he's learning is every single time, 100% of the time, he hears that click, he gets a treat. After he knows that, I introduce the chopstick. Now this you want to do very slowly, very cautiously, because your blue and gold macaw might be biting you. So you want to just kind of put this within reach, and he's going to be curious, and he's going to touch it. As you can see, he didn't chomp down on it, he just gently touched it. I clicked and he got a treat. What this is doing is telling him that, hey, every time I touch that stick, I get a treat. Now I know that your blue and gold macaw is biting and you may not want to have your bird touch the stick because that's not what you're after. But if you want the bird to step up on your hand without biting, this is a great technique. As the bird learns that every time he touches that stick, he gets a treat, you can then start to move the bird around the table or around the cage. Or if he's on the floor, you can move him around the floor. He bumped it, so I didn't quite click because it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but he did touch it, so I'll give him a treat. Wait for him to finish eating before we go on to the next step here. So now if I want to come over here, perfect. He gets a treat, and he's not aggressively biting. That's not the idea. You don't want him to just chomp down on this and use it to deflect his bite. That's not it. But here's where it comes in handy. I want my bird to step up. And typically, if I move my hand in, if he goes to bite me, now I put my hand just in the right spot to where he touches the stick. He has to step onto my hand to touch the stick. After he's done so, there's a click, and he gets his favorite reward. If you found this video helpful, or maybe it didn't answer all your questions, either way, if you go over to mybirdtips.com, give me your email address, and I'll send you some free videos right now that'll hopefully help get your macaw to stop biting.